And I'm not taking any, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, challenges. I'm not doing any of that shit until I calm down. Cause I am really fucking mad at myself. Okay. This one. I won it by checkmate. I can sometimes fucking play chess. God damn it. Okay. Tonight. Tonight sucks. I got really mad. Not not this mad, but really mad earlier. I've complained about this before. I don't know why I play chess when I'm pissed. It just makes me more angry. It just makes me more fucking angry. And I wanted to do this game review too. I actually saved a game review because I only have one. Yeah, 75 75% is not so bad. And three misses, uh, but no blunders in this game. This was a correspondence game, by the way, so I actually had fucking time. Like, it might be good content to fucking blunder like a bitch, but, like, you know what it doesn't feel? It, it does not feel good to blunder like a bitch. Doesn't. Interesting. Hmm. So this is the same opening that or defense that that I've just played with Ritu and then fucking resigned. Um, it's not the hyper accelerated dragon because this guy opened with the English, and it changes the whole board. Although I think when I was playing, that's what I was doing. Okay, it's important to get your pieces off the starting squares and into action. Right. Say what? You don't play chess when you're angry because you're going to make more blunders than when you're not think correctly. I was quit when I'm angry. Yeah, dude, Igor, I am right there, man. <laughs> when I blunder, I do it stylishly. <laughs> Thank you, Buck Mud. Buck Mud knows intimately how angry I get. <laughs> I swear, like this fucking mouse, this piece of shit, Bluetooth fucking mouse. I launched this earlier, like, whoom, like a fucking lawn dart. No one knows what a lawn dart is. Not anymore. So actually in this game, it was a good back and forth. Um, and I was probably just going to lose. Hmm. But I was able to catch it at the end. Okay. So this is the retry that I'm doing here. The move I made was, was this knight. I did that to, to stop this from happening. I guess I could... Uh, open up the bishop or go ahead and feed Keto. Unless there's some tactic that I just don't fucking see, which is common, obviously. Okay, so just feed Keto. So it gets this going and it does exactly what the knight does. Knight's not as good. I guess because it's only doing one thing. Well, this is the, the Fian Keto does three things, right? Fianchettos protects the square and starts the castle. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if I can shut this part. Yeah, I can put that down. I think my computer will run a little smoother this way. Igor, I can't play right now, man. I am too fucking pissed. Uh, did you see the? <laughs> did you see the last game? I was just like, ha 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 
Like, oh my fucking god. <sighs> Understandable. <laughs> Igor, I really appreciate your patience. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, he saw. It's so bad. Oh my god, it was worse than fucking rape. It was awful. Chessboard fucking punishment. Oh, okay. Hey, I made the best move. It was supposed to be a happy time. I'm not happy at all. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you know, I get the most viewers. Chess is brutal. Chess is brutal. I get the most viewers when I am blundering. The moment that I, like, calm down, people leave. Like... Is that the? Is that what the channel's about? Is... <laughs> is this channel about how bad I am at chess? I think so. Hilarious. Okay, so it doesn't like uh, knight g6. Uh, so I'll retry it. Wait, fuck what? That is the best. Fuck you, chess. That is the best move. Motherfucker. Shit. <sighs> um... So there's this whole tension thing, right? This is just a good move, right? No, it's an excellent move. Um, you activate the knight, okay. I think at this moment I thought about a couple things. One was this knight and the potential for some sort of pen. But I figured that there would either be a castle or something like this. Um, dealing with this guy, how? Or maybe just activating the bishop? I moved the knight, you know, for obvious reasons, right? I could kind of see pushing here. It blocks the light squared bishop, but it does activate the queen. I don't know. It just makes her a target, doesn't it? Um, taking is a check, and then this happens, but I don't think that's good for me in the long run. Because it just weakens the, the king side. few places this guy could go, but it seems like I should favor developing. Uh, Igor says, the worst thing is that all you can blame is yourself when you blunder. That's true. Buck Mud, do I read what you text me? It depends on when you text it to me. Normally, yes. Derek's peace out, man. Uh, it was good to play you and get absolutely fucking destroyed by you. <laughs> Come back next time. You better subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna take me to town like that, ah! All right. What the fuck to do? So, the pawn here, I don't like it because it opens up the queen this way for an attack, although this can happen. There's a trade in the queens here. Maybe that is actually okay. Hmm. Alternatively... There's doing something like this and just getting that knight out of out of dodge. Okay, well, let's try this first. It says it's good. It says that's fine. I wonder what the moves are. Okay, so it just bolsters the uh, 
the bishop. Okay, well then here's my other idea, and that's best. Okay, let's see what the moves are. Right, so sack the light squared bishop and now open this up. So this isn't as big of a deal. Okay, right on. All right, chess.com, fucking let me move. That's a mistake. Hey, I took the pawn, and this is a an overlooked opportunity to win a pawn. I didn't really know to, oh, maybe here? No, because then it just gets taken, right? Perhaps there. Yeah, Unknown Yo and Igor, absolutely. Buck Mud says, you meant do you read when I tell you that blunders are good for the channel and also for your skill improvement. Yeah, I did. I got that. Thing is, man, one, I'm actually, uh, I'm not losing subscribers. I, I, I have lost some subscribers lately. Which I don't really understand. Like, anytime that I subscribe to something on YouTube, like I personally subscribe, um, very rarely do I unsubscribe. Then again, I guess I don't subscribe to a lot of channels. I don't know. But very rarely do I unsubscribe. I only unsubscribe if I'm like, if the person like, well, if they tick me off, <laughs> which is easy to do. But it, but I don't do it very often, so I kind of I, I kind of don't get. Maybe you unsubscribe so you don't get the uh, the notifications or something. Anyway, I I or they're bots. I just I don't quite understand people subscribing and then be like, ah, well, nah, you did you said something that I don't know. I'm gonna unsubscribe from your channel. It's like, what? Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm ranting. As is my course of action. What were we talking about? Blenders? I look like a... <laughs> Catch you when you say I look... I look like a pill. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> well. Uh... Thank you. Bill's such a silly name. It really is. <laughs> Bill. I had a band once, and, and they called me. It's actually where Bill came from, because uh, obviously my name is not actually Bill. Um, and yeah, my bandmates were like, hey, Bill. It's hilarious. Okay. What the fuck was I talking about? Samrata, what's shaking, man? I have had a shitty night, Samrata. It's been a shitty night. Played the last two games. I didn't even play the last game. I resigned the last game in like, it was like four moves. Just, the first game was uh, by a new subscriber. I believe believe he's a, a subscriber. And uh, rating of 700, which I actually think he was probably a 700. 750 or something. And there were like three or four forks. Like the dirty kind of forks. You know what I'm saying? Like like rook queen forks. And I was like, what? What's happening? Why? Like I've played poorly, but why is this happening? It was horrible. It was awful. And then I played Ridu Raj and just got fucking plowed. <sighs> Okay, to answer Buck Mud. Yes, blunders are painful. It's good for the channel, obviously, because people actually watch when I'm ranting or when I fucking blunder. It's the only reason people watch this shit, which I appreciate. It's fine. At least someone is, is, is getting a something out of it. The other thing is you, you have self skill improvement. Okay. The problem is, 
The more I play chess, the worse I get. <laughs> or so it seems. Okay, so the, the knight takes back. What did I do? Right. This queen maneuver, I knew it wasn't a great move when I made it. Because he can just... Well, he could do that. I thought he was going to castle. And just be like, oh, like you. Which is best. Hey! Sometimes. Or he could do this and then make a move with his, his knight. I don't know what the fuck he would do. But I figured he'd just castle. And it's telling me what the best move is, which is taking the pawn. Wait, what? I hate it when it does that. I don't want it to tell me what the, the best move is. Don't show best moves. Yeah, don't show me the best move, you cocksucker. Fuck. Okay. Well, apparently this is the best move. Why is it the best move? Well, he takes this way. That's as far as I saw. And I was like, I'm fucked. It said I could win a pawn. So he takes back, right? I could check, but check's not going to do anything, is it? Is that going to do something? I don't know. I've got two lines on this dude. Let's see what the moves are. So what am I missing? Does he not take back because of what I just said? Is that why? Right, that's why. How can I see it and also... How can I see it and not put it together? Am I stupid? Fuck. Shit. I think I might be dumb. I'm gonna need more coffee for this. Fuck. So, the reason he moves the knight, instead of taking, is I guess I can win a piece, right? I can just be like, I mean, I could take with anything. I could take with this guy. You know, this fucking moves over this way, right? Hey, it says that's best. Wait, what? No, me. Huh? I don't fucking understand. Is it just get? Is chess.com trolling me? Is it like, yes, it's right. You're good. He's having a hard time, guys. It's the best move, Bill. And everything's the best move. Fuck, really? Is everything the best move? So then why the god, when I did this, was it like, how was that the best move? Don't you fuck, don't you motherfucking... It literally said this was the best move. Great hate. Okay, so tactical training was... I did see this. Fucking hell! I did see this. But then I was like, ah, oh, he can take back, and then I'm fucked! And I thought... Well, I could take this way, but he'll take me this way. Not seeing that I've got a fucking bead on him. He can't fucking take me. He can't take me back. He can't take me back. Well, shit. That's not what I did. What I did was this. I moved my queen over here to miss. Fine. He makes that move. I take it back. He makes this move. I fucking move back. Hey, best move. Interesting. Expand the queen side. Don't castle. Why'd I castle? Because I didn't really... Oh, you fucking motherfucker. Because I didn't really see this. This is a pattern I've seen a lot. As in, it's not a waiting move, right? It is a tactical move, or 
a positional move. I guess it's just to gain space. These two things. To gain time, Tempe. Tempe. Chess has some of the most lame words. To gain Tempe. To claim the Tempe. To gain time. To gain space. Two things I don't think about too much. When I can focus, I need to do some, like, fucking cocaine or something. I need to, like... That's a joke. I don't actually do cocaine. I don't. All right. I need to focus. I need to focus when I play. Hey, look, A5's best. Why, how do I know that? How did I know that? He fucking told me. So I'm in Los Angeles. Everyone here, apparently. That's from here, it seems. Does cocaine. They all do coke. You go to a bar, fucking cocaine. You're crazy. Where I'm from, where I'm actually from, it's not here. I mean, yeah, people do drugs, but like... Coke is, it's a certain kind. Like, a, you know, there's, there's a situation for that. Out here, it's like glamorous. Back home, not so glamorous. Eight people are watching, eight people are watching me not make any sense and talk about drugs. All right, what happens after this move? Castling kingside tends to be safer than queenside because the king is further from the center. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know that. Let's retry this. This is the move. Why? Now what I'm seeing is someone, someone, I think it was SQC. Igor, have a good breakfast, man. And thanks for dropping in. I think it was SQC told me the depth of the engine on, on chess.com. Uh, are you having your lunch? Is not too great. You can't always trust it. And I just saw that because it showed me some moves, which it was like, oh, here are the right moves. But actually, upon reviewing, turns out they weren't the best moves according to the engine. All right, we keep on going. This, I think, is my f second inaccuracy. This move doesn't hurt you much, but it doesn't help either. Um, and it moves him back. I thought this was a great move, but fine. Doesn't help me much. Okay. Sometimes... There's spiders that drop from the ceiling and attack my my person. Okay, so what's the deal? I could accomplish the same kind of goal here, but not really. Right, let's say there's a take, take, and then the queen gets in. I'm not saying that's the best move, but I'm just saying it's a move, whatever. I could activate this puppy. If he opens up, it's bad for him. Um, and he's got a better bishop, I guess. It is protecting that. My bishop isn't doing too much. So it seems like it could develop the bishop. Probably it wants this, an expansion on the queen side. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's not a mistake. It's not the best move either. Right on. Well, go straight to hell. Okay, so he's coming this way. That means two people are attacking this. Hmm. And then that could be followed up with something like this. Which I can't take, right? So perhaps gaining space that way. But it opens up the queen here. 
queen could move over. And she'd be protecting that square and targeting this. And she kind of lasers the king. But I don't see how she's really coordinating with the other pieces that way. So the reason that I moved here, I believe, is because I saw this, right? I don't think I actually saw this part. And so I wanted to push the bishop back. And then we eventually fight over here, uh, which I think I mismanaged. So there's a take here, and then this guy comes this way, right? That just puts the knight on a better square. It gives me a pawn, but I think... I think it starts to mess a lot of stuff up. And this becomes really important. So what's the other way? <laughs> Megan was shaking. Are you back? Are you back? Megan's back. He's in back. He's in back. Nothing. I can't remember the words. <laughs> hmm. Well, I could bolster that this some way. It still kind of has the same problem because with this, uh, yeah, I can't take because the queen's there. Hmm. I'm thinking that. Maybe here, but it's kind of a, a shit-tastic square for the bishop. Perhaps this, and they can move back at some point to attack. I don't know, though. I'm going to do this first. Okay, so I've made a lot of fair moves and not the best moves. You're trying a new thing. <laughs> okay, well, there's also, there's also this, which I didn't think of. I could make a little pawn chain. It could be attacked, but it stops this dude. Okay, so it's a solid choice, it says. So how to deal with that? <laughs> how to deal with this? Over here. Hmm. It gives the queen this lateral movement. Mother of God. This lateral movement. I don't know why I did that, but... But she doesn't really have any squares to go to. I think I thought about this. And I was like, right, but she's kind of like easily trapped, right? Queen d7. Over here. Yeah. Hey, old hydrate, dude. Cheers. Yeah, I'm off d7. It doesn't like... I like this. I'm sorry, I like this move. Uh, pawn c5 or queen b6. But it, it, it doesn't really like those moves. It's probably something tactical. Um... That I'm just not seeing. Because I don't see shit. This was my move. It's not that. Uh, Venkita. Venkinta? Jess, I thought this was... Cheese? Cheese? I don't get it. <laughs> you thought it was Cheese? What kind of cheese? <laughs> oh, Lord God. So I can't push here. Hmm. Interesting. I could retreat with the knight. And guard that square. Again, it blocks the bishop, but... Let's see. If I come here... 
I wonder. It opens this up for an attack, eventually. Pushing... doesn't really work. Hmm. I could also take. This takes back. <clears throat> so it gets rid of this pawn, moves this guy. Can't push. I could push there. I don't know. I don't think that's such a great move. Holy shit, so it is the best. Right, so it seems like the winners are this retreating move uh, to guard the square and to guard this square for that in the event I wanted to. Or I could just get an outpost and then, you know, the bishop would have some rain. Kind of preps for this and the queen can move. Eh. Anyway, seems like the knight's a good move or... Uh, blocking this pawn from moving forward. The main thing is, don't allow this pawn to move forward. And we'll see what the it says the moves are. Okay, that's it. I wonder, if this happens, does it show moves? Okay, well, maybe that's what I did. Uh, Venkinta, the E pawn needs to be in E7. Yeah, this was the move that I made, and it didn't like it. It says it, it doesn't hurt much, but I guess it just weakened the pawn structure. I thought it was Cheddar. <laughs> Dude, he's not doing Gouda. No, 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 no. I don't really like Gouda. I mean, I'll eat some Gouda, but it's not my jam. Uh, yeah, I'm just full of inaccuracies. You overlooked an opportunity to connect your rooks. So I guess it wants me to move my bishop. But where? Where, pray tell, would you like me to move my bishop? I can Fiaketo to B7, which doesn't do a lot unless I move C5, which could do. Uh, other squares possible. I don't like this because it blocks the queen's movement. So fine, I suppose. Hmm. My inclination is there, or maybe here. Thoughts? Say, what about Rook D1 in the future? Uh, lots of pressure. Rook D1, yeah. I think it wants me to do that. Right, so if that's the case, then uh, Bishop D7 is a bad move. Perhaps here, or perhaps here. What do you think? Bishop E6 looks solid. Let's try it. It is the best. Puts the bishop on a... Ah, oh, motherfucker. Puts the bishop on the correct square. It's called the Staunton Cochrane variation. Apparently. Um, right. So, what does it think about this? Kind of blocks the B file. My... Thought process, so this is good, which means it's not very good. My thought process is, if this ever happens, this is under kind of fire, and but it's not ever going to happen, so what am I thinking? It probably likes this move, too. Or not. Yeah, so it likes gaining the B-file, or... Connecting the rooks with this. And the whole idea is to, I think, uh, like you said, uh, then Kinta to put the pressure on the D. No, it's rook D8. 
He meant white plays rook d1. Oh, ro white plays rook d1. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. And e7 is not there to defend. Although I think it works on this side, too. Hi, Bill. You messed up your math boards today. Game with Sarav. What the fuck? How did you mess up your... <laughs> I'm sorry. How did you mess up your math boards? Jesus Christ, have I messed, messed up. I've never had math boards. I don't know what those are. I'm assuming they're tests. I did uh, some calculus in school. It was like Calc 2 or something. I was in a Calc 2 class. I was pretty good at math back in the day. I can't do it now. I've forgotten everything. But uh, it was the first test I failed. Because in class, I'd show up to class about 10 minutes before it ended. This is in college or university, uni. And I understood what was going on. And I was like, oh, this is, this is, this is easy. It's fine. And then they give a homework, and I was like, fuck this homework, and didn't do it. Well. Then on the test, because you didn't have to go to class. You just had to take the test. So I was like, hell yeah, this is amazing. Dr. Yu. That was the guy's name. Dr. Yu. Anyway, so I showed up to the test. You can probably guess what happened. I'm sitting there taking this fucking test. And I've seen all the problems before once, you know, in the 10 minutes of class that I actually saw them. And I could like almost remember how to do it. But then I couldn't. And, you know, there's only like eight questions and I'm going through it and I can get most of the question done. But then I, I kept on forgetting like little tiny things like, I don't know, how to do long division. I'm sitting like doing like fucking like proofs to figure out not the calculus like is that how you divide on paper <laughs> like polygon or the polygons polynomials anyway finally i put like a little uh a little note to the professor and i was like um i actually know the calc too i just can't remember how to do ar arithmetic <laughs> and i failed bad i felt bad so you got a 1200, so that's a W right now. A 1200. I wish I had a 1200 ELO. You got Calc 2, May 10th. Oh shit. I see your ELO increase too. Did it? <laughs> no. No, no. No, no, this is correspondence chess. Excuse me, sorry. This is correspondence chess. When I actually have time to think, I have a much higher ELO than when I had play Rapid. Rapid, it's like 900. Um, correspondence, it's, it's 1,300 or so. Although I almost lost this game. I probably should have lost the game. Uh, Venkinta, uh, you say you have Calc 2 tests on May 10th? Calc 2's a bitch. I mean, it's not hard. It's just... They could make it so much easier. If they, like, fucking... When they teach math, it's like they, they, they teach it like it's magic. Like wizardry. And they're like, oh, you, you must be smart to do this. It's really... I don't know why people do that. I do know why people do that. Because they're fucking assholes. All right. So I moved here. I should have moved my bishop. Uh, retry? I already know what the answer is. That's the answer. And I know why, too. Um, not a great move now. Would have been a good move before. You had a better option, but this is not bad. So the board changes in slight ways. Changes the whole plan. Madav, you ask, what's the best opening for the five to six hundred Elo guy? Hey chat, what do you all think? Um, Madav, are you asking for black or white? Because that kind of changes. Um, we learned the Polish today. 
Jesus Christ, I got fucking destroyed by the Polish today. Yeah, the dude was from Poland, too. He was like, I play the Polish. And he took me to town. God. All right, what's the move here? I did the... Uh, I did this. I was attempting to block off his bishops. So, this bishop doesn't really have anywhere to go. Um at all and then my idea was here and so he didn't have anywhere to go the problem is I guess it opens up this hole uh, let's see what happens with why is this okay well that's not what I was really thinking I mean, it's in, it's in the same zone as what I was thinking. But it's not what I was thinking they would do. Okay. What is the move? I didn't want to move this. It, it is gaining space. There's probably something tactical here. What happens with that? That doesn't work. I think it's a bishop move. Maybe attacking the c4 pawn. I don't know. If I if I go bishop e6 now. There's this. I could also uh, come this way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, pushing D5 doesn't work. <clears throat> I say just play rook d8. Yeah, here you can see what I meant with uh, rook d1 and you're regretting stuff. Mm. Yeah, for real. Yeah, the d file is super, super important right now. Uh, rook d8, rook b8. All right, well, let's try it and see what it has to say. Yep, it says that's excellent. Um, let's go here instead. Okay, so it doesn't like that. It does like rook d8, which, again, just because this engine says anything doesn't mean anything. And you like rook b6. Huh, honey? I'm sorry, bishop e6. Right. And again, it says that's excellent. It has something in mind. It, it goes back and forth. Looks like there's a few moves. This connects the rooks, of course, which sounds great. This puts more pressure on this file. What did I do again? I pushed here. Hmm. I kind of wonder what it wants. I could attack the... I was going to say I could attack it with the knight or uh, the sea bishop, but that doesn't work, does it? Yes, gaming with Sarov. Is Buck Mug Me is Buck Mud Megan? No. <coughs> Megan is Megan. Uh, Buck Mud is someone totally different. They are both moderators, though. Because I trust them.
So you say the higher depth prefers rook b8 to rook d8. Yeah, let's find out what, what does it think the, the best deal is. We'll just ask it. Okay, so it actually does want the push. I kind of figured it was just a space thing. Because <clears throat> it, it, it tends to dig on those things. Okay, so I take... Uh, it takes back. I do the rook b8. Now does rook d8 make sense? This doesn't really work. This doesn't work. Maybe getting this off its square does, because then it'd have this guy and this guy. Let's try that. Nah, it doesn't seem to like it much. Hmm. It wants uh, to break up this uh, center pawn stuff <clears throat> and then open up the rook that way. All right, let's continue. Schwing. Uh, so it wants this. Great. Actually, now it says it's excellent. Does it want this fucking move? God damn it. It really... I guess that does open the bishop up. Uh, it opens up the bishop to actually do something. Fair. So you want to play a5 to put your bishop on a6. Otherwise, just a bad piece. Um... A5 directly, A6, A5 loses tempo. See the like, what does it say? I see. Hey, look at that bad move. Yeah, so I was looking at this uh, yesterday or this morning or whenever the fuck it was and was like, I'm doing so well. And I saw this move and was like, I don't think he capitalizes on it. No, he does. Fuck me. <clears throat> so don't push. How about this? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just getting the piece in the game. Fair enough. Review. It hates this move. H hold on. Hold on. Does it want me to move there? So, this is bad because it's just going to lose a piece, right? Man. <clears throat> uh, Metab Singh, what's up, man? Thank you for uh, watching and participating. And I appreciate... You thinking that this is good entertainment? Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much me bitching. <laughs> so I'm glad that, that that's good stuff. Uh, the chat is 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 pretty good um, on the channel. <clears throat> A lot of good players giving advice. So you won't learn shit from me, but you will learn shit from them. Okay. So this bishop sucks. My bishop currently sucks. Here's all the pressure. If I'm not careful, the queen is going to have a problem. Because, you know, you could take this way. Pressure on the queen. I don't really see him taking this way. Because that just opens up the B file for me. Say, so it's important to say C4... Right. Uh, it should make his black bishop go from very bad to decent. Right. So the idea is his bishops suck really bad. Hey, now his black bishop, his dark bishop actually has squares. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to mess with his pawns. So... Let's say I do make this move. What was the move I was supposed to make this? Yeah, that's the move I should make. Um, I didn't make that move, though. I did this, so he comes here. Now I have to deal with this problem. This is a mistake. So how to come back from that mistake? Queen could come here. Uh, 
he takes this way. I've got a pawn back, but the queen's kind of lonely. Um, I don't know. Rook comes over here, the queen's there, and maybe there's this. Feels like I'm, I would get the queen trapped somehow. Hmm. How to come back from this. Queen a5 is an option. So you dig that. You dig that idea. Let's try it. <clears> hey. <throat> Seems like you know the game. Alright, so my idea was... Uh, I'm attacking here in the event he took. I can take there back. If he tried to pull something squirrely, I've got this, and it's protected, and this is protected. Mm. There is that. So what I was thinking, I'm not, what I was thinking is this. Uh, never mind. Not saying he would do this, but this is where my brain was. Something like this. Mer and then like this. Really, I just want to see it. So then you take, and I, you know, take back. So it's not the it's not the worst thing in the world. Although I doubt those are the moves that uh, he should play. No motherfucker, go forward. Okay, let me see what the moves are according to it. Okay, well, there you go. Instead of taking with the rook, take with the pawn. Now I have this pass pawn, which looks pretty good. He's got this one, but it's blocked. Then again, this bishop... Man, that really was a mistake, wasn't it? Moving that pawn out of the way. Because now this bishop becomes a, a hoss. <coughs> All right. So I come up here. You want to play bullet? No. <laughs> no, bullet is... I hate bullet. Say, uh, pawn takes it better uh, than the rook. All um, right. So your pawn isn't scaring anyone? <laughs> hey, listen now. That pawn could be fierce. Okay? Fierce. This pawn. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate my, my, underestimate my A6 pawn. <laughs> underestimate. Why did I push it there? I don't know why I pushed it there. But I did. But I did. Uh, Ventrica... Ven Kinta, if, if you had seen my previous games tonight... <laughs> this is a lot better than I normally am doing. Not the best move, but not bad either. Thanks. Um, maybe it's this yet again. I pushed... I think when I made the, the next couple moves... I was sitting there thinking, oh no, what have I done? And he's got a super advantage. This mistake really cost me. Right, I just did the exact same thing twice. Right, so it still likes this um, attacking over here. Protecting and all that good stuff. All right. That... Uh, so we're both of us have the same idea. We're not really seeing the board for what it is. Um, but we were like, we want lots of defenders on these. We at least see where the game's happening. I'll give it that. Hey, you think you've got some good stuff cooking here? Just don't block your bishops. Be careful pushing pawns and you're good. Right, so I went this way. I bet... This is the move. 
Am I wrong? It wants uh, doubling the rooks. It wants doubling the rooks. It seems pretty straightforward. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> the kids, uh, it's like, <laughs> I just want to push the pawns. <laughs> hey, it's not a mistake though, but there was something better to do. Uh, I was afraid he was gonna move something over here and then attack my knight. My knight, it's not a knight, it's a rook. I can't think. Can I move this guy? <clears throat> Could attack this pawn over here. He can't push because I can take this motherfucker. Ah. Ah. I really wish that would stop doing that. Hmm. I just want to see what the computer says. So it says it's an inaccuracy. This is not the best. Thanks. It's not the best. Taking gets my queen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I mean, the move that I found was this, which is not the right move, so. It's probably just a good move, right? Good move. I don't know why. Motherfucker. So this is, this is what I was talking about earlier. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Didn't I just make this move? And it was like, nah, that's not really that great. It didn't I just do this? Fuck everything. Really? I hate it. Okay. So this is possible. This is possible. This is possible. It's just a fucking terrible chess engine. Okay. We'll keep on going. It's a missed opportunity. And I come back this way. You permitted the opponent to win material by attacking what? Oh, by attacking multiple pieces simultaneously. You say uh, better engine says f5 is as good as rook b8. Yeah, what's up with the fucking engine, man? Can I turn it up? What is this? Explore, review. This chess engine fucking blows. There's probably a way to do it that everybody knows but me. I never can use chess.com. It's always just... Ugh, I hate it. But I hate everything, so... How about 20? How about 20? Man, it doesn't like that move. I could move here, but that's just going to get attacked, right? Um, this is where I went. So I can either attack something or retreat this way. Mm, I didn't want to retreat that way. Because if I retreat... Not, not, rap. Right? Burp, burp. Uh, 
So it seems like this move there protects the, the rook or there. Moving here, assuming he attacks this way. I do have that, I guess. Or even this. Settings and then engine. See, everybody knows it but me. Okay, well, let's see if I do this. It's going to take some time to think about it. Hey, it's the best. Um, let's see. So we'll retry. We'll go there. And then I want to see what... See, now it says it's just good. Uh, this defends a rook that was under attack. Yeah, I could move back this way. Ah, motherfucker. I could move back this way. But I was thinking of doing this. Alright. Um, so, then what is uh, its... Before is the mistake. So, it wants the queen here. That's the best move? So I don't get that. Doesn't he just move the rook? I guess not. I was thinking he moves the rook this way, it sacks that, the queen's taken. I guess he just gains bishop and a rook for a queen, and that's... So then he has a queen, a bishop, and a rook. And I've got... I guess that's a bad trade. Oh, he's protecting this. Yeah, my tactical brain is not so up to snuff. I thought that was a move. I guess it's not. So, uh, see, yes, unpinning the queen is good. No, you pin the bishop after with queen c5. Oh, I think I think I'm either in front or behind behind what you're saying. So it wants this, right? It says that this is the best move. You say rook kills c4. And that attacks this dude. Alright, so you're saying this, then this. Bishop kills C and then Queen C five. Like this. That's the sort of deal. I see. Right on. But I was thinking in terms of what did they do after this, right? Not me. Because ostensibly, like they they would they would see that as well, right? I mean, that's a cool combination. But if you were white, would you make those moves? Right? Like that's a blunder. I would go here if I were white. Because if I do take, and you take here, right? Is that compensation for a queen? 
Uh, white has the advantage, but I would probably make that trade. Granted, I'm a fucking 900, so. Still, I sincerely doubt I would make this move. I would fear that I was going to... I mean, putting putting the queen there for this seems pretty gnarly to me. And then this is the best move. So what's the next best move? Rook kills a3. Yeah, wow, it actually is that. Really? Wow. So it is literally that. Huh! I'm assuming something like this, or... Yeah, rook b1. Okay, well, fuck me. Let's pop back. This is tactical shit. I'm not... I'm not very good at it. Just not good at chess. <laughs> Just not good at chess. <laughs> okay, so there's that whole thing. He misses an opportunity to fuck my day up. I take. And then all this shit happens. Hey, another bad move. Uh, if you look at this Christmas tree of bad moves up here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. It's going to be bad. It's going to be a whole bunch of bad. I move here. I ignored an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. So, the bishop's scope. Um, if it's got to be a bishop, I mean, the bishop's scope. Well, surely not this bishop, because he's guarding the king. This doesn't seem so great. It's fewer squares. This just loses the bishop. I don't understand. What is it? Oh, it is the, the dark squared bishop. Wait, really? I mean, doesn't that happen? I guess that's maybe premature. Money. Uh, I don't understand. And then it wants queen b4. Boof. I guess they just got bigger fish to fry over on the queen side. Um. And you know, this rook is uh having a problem, man. Um, it seems like that's a move. I guess it's not. I guess it's not a move. That seems like a fucking annoying move to me. This is good. It's not the best. Seems like a bad move. Alright, so it's attacking this guy. I guess there's this is maybe premature. Right? Because he's got this stuff going. I just can't draw straight lines. Alright, well, I make this move instead because I'm attacking the queen. And then a bunch of ridiculous happens. Are you ready for this fucking ridiculous shit? <gasps> Go! Hey, it was the best move, hey. What? Making mistakes. Listen. Listen. It's okay. It's okay. You ignored an opportunity to recapture a piece from a previous move. So I could take a piece. Like this piece. Then that's lost. Take this piece. I just knew that there was the motherfucker was pinned and he couldn't he couldn't move. Hold on. Why is this a bad move again? This is a mistake. No, I don't want to retry it. I want I want to know. Isn't your bitch hanging? This one is hanging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Watch this shit. Boo! <laughs> Although it's an inaccuracy. Uh, what does it say? This is not the right idea. Yeah. Uh, my idea... It did eventually work. It did work. And yes, it does hang the bishop. 
เออเอ้ยจ้าโอเคอืมว่าอีสิ่งที่ดีของการทำโอ้เพราะนั้นเขาอยู่บนปนแล้วเขาได้นี่ปนคุณกลัวเรื่องนี้ปนฉันกลัวเรื่องนี้ปนนี่ปนนี่ปนฉันกลัวเรื่องนี้ปนฉันกลัวเรื่องนี้ปนฉันกลัว Okay. <coughs> so he blocks off the queen. Uh, gets the bishop. Takes, 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 and we all go happily home. Okay. That's why it's a mistake. Because it allows all of that. It allows this bishop move. Taking the bishop ain't so good. Why? So all this happens. Basically, they're just in a worse position uh, than they would have been, and they're not winning as much. Okay. What actually happened was they did take, and then basically what the computer did, I did. So I had a lot of good moves at this point. Not that one. What's up, SQC? Nord, an opportunity to win a pawn. I guess here. No. Oh, maybe this pawn, perhaps. No, or that pawn. What pawn? Which pawn? Well, let me continue because I'll I'll show you what I did. I was trying to get the rook away from the king and uh, also come here to attack multiple things. And then I saw this. Well, he made that move. Uh, that's a missed opportunity to force eventual checkmate. Well, I did. And yeah. So that's how I won. But it could have been thwarted had he not just blundered a bunch. So this is an eventual checkmate. It says, the way I saw it was here. Is it here? I knew if this happened, I had that. I pushed here. You know, to move him over that way. I guess I could do that immediately eh. yeah okay so I had I had just a better way of doing it well son of a bitch okay so I overcomplicated it here thinking I need to move him that way in fact I could have just taken the bishop out okay I'm interested in this move. Uh, I saw, and you know, he's he's going after this pawn, and and I didn't want this to become a queen. Of course, it says come here. I didn't like that. I didn't like him being able to come this way. Right. So I get a pawn. Yeah. Okay. I wonder. Hmm. Well, anyway, 
that's what it was. So I played a fairly good game. <clears throat> uh, fairly good. It says end game was questionable. An okay middle game. Eh, opening. And I would have done, you know, much better, obviously, had I made the, the deals. What was my opening again? It was the Accelerated Dragon, kind of. Oh, Symmetrical. Symmetrical English. And then it kind of went into this whole thing. Um. And this, it didn't like. Interesting, so... It says my opening wasn't very good. Is that why? It says it's just good. I mean, opening accuracy 83% seems... Seems pretty goddamn good to me. Yeah? Middle game, 76. End game, 66. So my end game really suffered. Oh, shit. Guys... Wow. Wow. Okay, well, just...